and 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 um, the role of the teacher mm -hmm. became one of the things that then you, you started becoming pretty much associated with mm -hmm. amplifying the importance of this um, empower of the learner, mm -hmm. i.e. the teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, talk, to, to, talk to me a little about that. So I would say actually it starts mm -hmm. with the school leader mm -hmm. because when we first started in 2011 and I wasn't part of Dignitas but mm -hmm. what I learned about that was we started working with teachers mm -hmm. but we found teachers at some point would always hit a wall mm -hmm. and that wall was often the school leader yeah because at the end of the day your boss is the one paying your salary mm -hmm. <laughs> if i tell you to do something and your boss is not on board mm -hmm. <laughs> there's going to be a problem mm -hmm. so we began to realize that school leaders were actually at the center mm -hmm. and that by empowering school leaders we essentially end up with empowered and equipped teachers. Mm. And so we shifted our focus to understand school leaders as being this core agent of change within schools. And when we talk about school leaders, of course, we have head teachers, deputies, but we also looked at teacher leaders, particularly in the urban informal settlements. In many of the, the schools we have there, we have teachers who are leaders, even mm. if their job description doesn't say so. Mm. <laughs> uh, and so looking at this broad understanding of who leads in a school mm. um, and bringing together school leadership teams mm. to equip, um, to, to coach, to train, and, and really ensure that they have skill sets based around those three pillars mm. that allows them to drive a quality of teaching mm. and learning within their schools mm. that allows children to succeed. Mm. 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 Um, and, and I think when we look at schools, even when I think about my own children's schooling, mm. Mm. I can choose the school with the nicest building mm -hmm. or I can choose the school with the best teachers. Mm. Mm. And where will the children thrive? Yeah. It's, it's the teachers, the four walls That's might true. look very nice, but That's they won't true. help my kids learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So how do we quit? teachers yeah. a resource that are already in the system yeah we don't need to build classrooms we yeah. need to build the teachers yeah yeah <laughs> and yes we have huge teacher shortages across the country and yeah. that's that's a whole other issue but yeah. with the teachers who are in the system how yeah. do we ensure they're able to give the best possible opportunity mm. to each of our children because yeah. every child deserves an excellent education exactly exactly mm. and one of the things you've also mentioned is that um i mean when you are taking it over uh, when you're taking dignitas over it was largely very community based very initially focused within mm, a community madare yeah. it then became not just mm -hmm. a single community it became mm -hmm. one of the how, how big is it and how far towards mm -hmm. the 300,000 uh, mm -hmm. learner mark mm -hmm. are you now mm -hmm. so what's really exciting is we're on track to achieve the 300,000 this year mm -hmm. Um, we now work with about 300 schools in a year. Uh -huh. um, so we've gone from that 21 schools over a period of two years to, right. to 300 schools in a year. Right. Um, and all the while just striving for that quality of impact. Mm -hmm. And our mantra has kind of been that there's no point in achieving the numbers mm. if we're not achieving the impact. Mm. Um, so making sure as we grow that we build systems around impact mm. um, that allow us to, to just keep that front and center. Mm. Um, so we, at, by the time I joined, we'd already, the program had grown from Mathari, was already in Kangemi and Kaungwari. Mm. Um, and so we began to look at expansion in a number of ways, one mm. to other communities within Nairobi. Mm. There's a huge number of urban informal mm -hmm. insettle, uh, settlements around Nairobi. Mm. Um, secondly, to communities outside of uh, Nairobi. Mm. Um, which took us in the direction of also thinking about partnership with government and public schools. Mm. Um, and so we had this developing piece of work of kind of rural public partnerships with government. Mm. And rural this, public partnerships. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a uh, public that... school partnerships okay. grounded in great, government great, engagement. Great, great. Yeah. Um, and then this kind of flourishing mm -hmm. Nairobi space around um, what we know in the sector as at-bet schools, mm. which are essentially the what we used to call informal schools mm. in, in the urban settlements. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, and so that opened up a whole new road of discovery mm. <laughs> into mm. kind of government engagement and yeah. what it meant to partner with government. Yeah. Opened our eyes to the huge complexity in our education sector. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how it compares to health, but it, it's 
it's an animal in and of itself. How can you imagine? <laughs> because there's Ministry of Education, yes. there's TSE, KICD, the big players we all know. Yeah, yeah. But there's a huge number of other players, the sem- semi-autonomous government agencies. Yes, yeah. Um, and unfortunately, not as well coordinated as we'd all like it to isn't. think. Sadly, no. In fact, I think it's probably the biggest challenge in our education sector. Talk that- to me about that a little. So. MOA, uh, MOA, Moist. Yeah. It's Moist yes, right now. Is, Ministry yes, of Education, yes. Science, Science and Technology. And technology. It's there. It, it, it is in plain. It, well, mm. I have played a bit of role, mm. you know, interacting yeah. with Ministry of Education, yeah. uh, Education, but from a health mm. uh, perspective. So I know there is the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. Mm. There is Kenya Institute of um, Curriculum. Development. Development. Yes. K- K-I-C-D. C-D. Yeah. Then what are they? What are these other players? So th- there's Ministry of Education. Mm-hmm. Within Ministry of Education, there are several kind of state departments. Mm-hmm. So like any ministry, mm-hmm. so there's, there's basic education, there's mm-hmm. TIVIT, there's mm-hmm. now curriculum reforms, mm-hmm. and each of those is huge in mm-hmm. and of itself. Mm-hmm. Um, then th- there's TSE, yeah. which has a different status from many of these other actors yeah. um, because it's a constitutionally uh, recognized commission. Yes. So, so it has quite a different mandate. Mm. Um, and then you have the, the SAGAs, the semi-autonomous government agencies, mm. which covers everything from KICD, which mm. is fairly prominent and well known, mm. KEMI, which is Kenya Education Management Institute, tasked with training head teachers. KISE, which is tasked with um, special education, mm. NEC, which is tasked with um, uh, qualifications and mm. examinations, mm. Um, and, and the list goes on. I mean, mm. the semestea, the, 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 there are many. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and essentially, there's very little coordination mm. across mm. them and very little healthy coordination. Mm. Mm. And sadly, more often than not, it there are internal mm. power battles mm. Mm. <laughs> um, because many of them are trying to secure their own resources mm. and uh, place in the system. Mm. Um, and so often organizations like ours are kind of caught in between. Yeah. Um, and sadly, children are not the focus mm. for many of those mm. struggles and, and battles back and forth. Mm. Now, mm. There are some amazing people within mm. the system and within those government agencies, mm. and we have some fantastic allies mm. in each of those agencies. Mm. And there are many people working in government whose focus is the children mm. and who are 100% sold out mm. to ensuring every child gets the education they mm. deserve. Mm. But they're functioning within a system that often does not help them yeah. achieve that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that's very difficult to watch and difficult to be a part of <laughs> yeah and unfortunately the Lana the child is mm. the one who mm. whose life in this case you're trying to help mm. uh, you know get get better education mm. uh, outcomes mm. and whose wh- whose life we ended up dangling yeah. in this very sadly yeah, yeah. very yeah. sadly yeah, yeah.